teams are making their way out onto the field. They'll pause for a moment for the national anthems, and I'll rejoin you after that as we get set to kick things off between Honduras and Costa Rica. Top three qualify automatically for Qatar. Fourth place ends up in a playoff. It's what these teams are playing for on the road to Qatar 2022, and we're underway in Honduras. Costa Rica left to right in the red. Honduras right to left in the white. Matarita, the youngest in the starting 11 tonight at 27 years of age. This ball sent it towards Waston, it's saved. Luis Lopez robs Kendall Waston. Such a dangerous player on set pieces due to his height. We've seen him scoring goals lately for Deportivo. Tucks it inside for Flores. Now Ariaga lining it up from distance. It's going to take a lot to beat Keller Navas from there. Switch across for Ellis. Good first touch inside to Nahar. Ellis continues to run. Nahar continues with the ball. Lopez takes a shot. It's the second one on target. And if that's the last attack of the half, which it will be, as there is the whistle, it shows what that first half was like for Honduras. A lot of control of the ball. That's it for Jonathan Moya as Luis Diaz enters. And that will be it for Johan Venegas as Jimmy Marin enters. Marvin Escobar, the official, gets us underway in the second half in the pouring rain in San Pedro Sula. The three games for all teams, as will the final window in March. Grand total of 14 for all teams in the octagonal this year. Chance here for Moya is saved by Navas, the most dangerous save he's had to make all night. The wherewithal to turn and quickly strike this knowing his time was limited. Exiting the match, Rigoberto Rivas. Brian Moya's night ends. And there is the last change. Exiting Albert Ellis, entering for Bonnie Garcia, as he will enter for Davy Flores. Campbell, good ball in, free header to the back post is over the bar. Here is Garcia. Gets past Blanco, taken down. Set piece for Honduras. Arriaga for Garcia. Now Palma. Sent in towards the back. Oh, saved by Navas. Still loose and now cleared. Celso Borges exits the match for Brian Oviedo. Alex Lopez is done for Honduras. Bevy of changes for both sides here. Heavy challenge here from Oviedo. And just a couple of minutes after entering the match, he receives a yellow card. Five options there in white jerseys for a cross. Instead, it's Rodriguez who delivers to the back post. He's headed over the bar. In disbelief, Ariaga, before his teammates bring him back up. That was it. That was the chance for Honduras that they've been waiting for. Unmarked, wide open, top of the six. You see here as he's going to. That is all five changes now for Costa Rica. All five have been made for Honduras as well. Barring. Any injuries? He's 22. Kervin Ariaga. A chance here in the 89th minute on the free kick. Ariaga! Oh, saved by Navas! To erupt so well struck. 
And Kaylor Navas flies to parry it away. Nariaga had the header from the top of the six on the set piece. As Blanco came through, waved off, and there is the final whistle. An eventful last 10 minutes, plenty of chances for Honduras. They don't cash in on any, and it's scoreless at the end of the night.